Hi everyone, you know that feeling of joy, feeling of relief, feeling of exhaustion that people feel after completing a project is something that everyone deserves to feel. It's me again, my name is Bisola Adulaju. Thank you for tuning in to this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for staying glued to our channel. Thank you for sharing our videos and thank you for leaving your comments. If you're a new subscriber, if you're a new viewer, kindly click the subscribe button below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave your questions or comments in the comments and share our videos. Thank you. In today's video, I'm just going to be um, walking you through how to have a happy ending after a presentation or after your final year project. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is that you have to be academically, mentally, and physically ready for your presentation. You need to have a thorough understanding of your research problem, your methodology, uh, your findings, and your conclusions. You also need to be confident, calm, and well-rested before your presentation it's very very important don't go to a presentation after having sleepless nights you need to be calm you need to be well rested and you need to be prepared for your presentation the second thing i would like to talk about is to practice 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 you need to rehearse your presentation several times before the actual day before the actual defense if you're a student and there are several ways to practice. You can practice in front of a mirror. Uh, you can practice in front of a friend. It could even be in front of a family or an expert. You know, it could be a senior colleague that's recently taken that uh, course or studied that same thing you're trying to talk about. Now, even if you do not have any of this, you can record with your phone and watch your performance you can record yourself like i'm doing right now and afterwards you watch your performance and this is going to help you improve your delivery your timing uh your body language and even your voice modulation now the next thing i want to talk about is to make an outline and create your presentation slides you need to organize your information in a logical and coherent way you can also use an outline to guide you through the main points and sub points of your presentation uh, you can make use of powerpoint and um, there are other there's so many tools that you can actually use uh, to create your presentation slides just go online and do that now your slides should be clear and concise it shouldn't be um, difficult to understand or difficult to read that it should also be attractive you don't want to show boring slides to your audience you want to carry them along and um, you want to make your slides really really attractive now your slides should not contain irrelevant information now the next thing i want to talk about is to prepare for questions this is the part i love because you've done a presentation and then you get to the part where you say do you have any questions for me imagine if everyone blanks out it means you've not done a great job if you've done a presentation people have to have questions for you and you need to do a good job by anticipating some of the possible questions that the your audience or the panel may ask during or after your presentation so that's actually easy to do. So you can, you know, brainstorm on some questions based on your research topic. You can go online and see the questions that people are asking about that particular uh, research topic. And, you know, questions can be based on several aspects of the project. It could be based on your research topic. It could be based on your literature review. It could be based on the methodology. It could also be based on your findings and conclusions and you can also have experts review your work and ask you questions you know experts could be like i said earlier a senior colleague or 
a friend that's knowledgeable in that area now the next thing i want to talk about is is very very important and it is to make eye contact with your audience now you don't want to stay glued to your presentation throughout you want to keep looking directly at your audience to be sure that they're actually following and it will also show that you're confident and interested in engaging with them um, if, you, if you're looking at your audience it, it to help you gauge their reactions and feedback so avoid looking at the floor avoid looking up avoid looking at the ceiling or even the screen too much right now the next thing i want to talk about is do not speak too fast or too slow you want to carry people along you need to speak at a moderate pace you need to speak at a pace that is even comfortable for you and the audience you need to articulate your words clearly um even if you're being asked a question that you don't understand take your time if you need to write out that question so you don't forget the points that people want you to make you can write it down so when you understand the question you answer clearly avoid uh, mumbling or stuttering so you don't need to answer a question immediately it gets thrown at you take a breath and then give the answer to the question right and you need to pause occasionally pause occasionally to emphasize important points right and even after answering the question you can say things like was i able to answer your question did you understand uh is there anything else you would like me to explain or answer right just to be sure that you've actually satisfied your audience and um, you should also be ready to admit if you don't know something or if you made a mistake in your presentation don't go there to argue right do not go there to argue remember that these people that you're um, presenting to are your um, supervisors your assessors and I know you must have carried out your research but remember that these people may know better than you do we are no better than you do so you don't want to go there and start arguing about a point just be free to admit it and if there's a question that you don't want to rush you can take a while and then give that feedback when you're ready now the last thing i'm going to talk about is bring a copy of your project with you for reference I know we talked about having a presentation slide and you know highlighting the point but you also want to go to your uh, presentation with a copy of your project for reference let's say you ask the question and uh, the answer to those questions is not actually covered in your slide you can quickly make a reference to your report um, for instance if you need to refer some details or data that are not on your slides during your presentation or uh, during the question and answer session having a copy of your project reports will actually help you to avoid confusion or embarrassment i hope those tips to help you prepare for your final year project successfully good luck thank you very much for watching our video if you're yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button below subscribe to our youtube channel share our videos and leave your comments down in the comment section